What is going on, uh, guys? It is Johnny on the track back here with another video. And um, wow, uh, Sunday night was something else. That is for sure. Um, I feel like a lot of people have already said what has to be said, gave their opinions, um, told like a bunch of different sides to uh, or different perspectives from different drivers, um, from Austin Dillon to Logano to Denny Hamlin, um, to, to NASCAR, honestly, and, and, um, and Sawyer and, and his decision of, uh, what that looks like and, and what a penalty, um, might look like for Austin Dillon and Joey Logano for his actions on pit road. Um, so let me first preface with this, and then I will kind of give briefly my opinions on that whole situation. Um, so uh, what I should start by saying is the fact that if you uh, follow me on Twitter at J-O-T-T underscore podcast, like I always say, Johnny on the track on Action Network, you saw um, that I did take Austin Dillon after I saw practice and qualifying uh, uh, loaded up on his top 10 bet and also took a money line. That was a $10 bet to win a thousand dollars plus 10,000 uh, plus 450 was the um, final number on Rhode Island Sportsbook for his top 10. Just a huge discrepancy between Rhode Island Sportsbook and other sports books. So I just felt the value all over for Austin Dillon. When I took the top 10, I also took the win because he was, in my opinion, the best car on Sunday night and he deserved to win that race. Um, probably not the way he ended up winning that race, but he deserved to win uh, that race based on the, the piece really that um, his team brought him on Sunday. So um, there's that side of it, right? Like, so I'm kind of biased, right? Cause he won me, you know, almost $1,500 with that top 10, as well as that money line bet. Um, told one of my buddies to, to bet the top 10 he hit for like 1200. So it was awesome in that sense, but um, I think the biggest problem here, um, doesn't fall on Austin Dillon. Yep. I'm saying that, uh, it doesn't fall on Denny Hamlin or Joey Logano. Um, it falls on NASCAR. Uh, that's the bottom line. It falls on NASCAR. Now, do I agree with the way that Austin Dillon handled winning that race by bumping Joey Logano out of the way that I thought, I mean, I gave you guys out Logano. That was like my best bet of the week. He was right there to win it. He probably should have won it. Um, if we just like fair and square beat Dillon on the restart in overtime. Um, but I didn't think that one definitely was egregious, but I've seen plenty like that where somebody just dives it in final turn trying to win. So that to me was, it's not a racing deal, but it's not, um, it's not like, you know, you should be suspended and take the win away for that. You shouldn't be because like it, we see that happen all the time from Chase Briscoe diving, um, in the, uh, the Bristol dirt race when Kyle Busch won diving in and getting to Tyler uh, Reddick, he had no business making that corner. He cleans them both out. Kyle Busch wins, um, uh, Logano bumping Byron out of the way again, similar situation, right? Um, so we've seen plenty of those. The next one, the right rear hook on Denny Hamlin to me was the one that makes you go, wow, um, that's a bad look. Now, again, I, it, it's really hard for me because, um, I totally understand why Austin Dillon did what he did to get into the playoffs and, and win that race, right? Or the, the other way around, win that race to get into the playoffs. Um, because like I said, it this all falls on NASCAR. It is the playoff format that you have made winning you're in top 16. If, if you make the playoffs, um, from what Denny Hamlin has said, you know, in front of his full audience on his podcast, there are huge implications financially if you are a playoff charter and playoff team, um, 
there are people that work tireless days and nights in those shops to get Austin Dillon a car that can compete. And with the years he's had in the year, um, you know, this year, the year prior, all the struggles RCR has had. Um, when you tell somebody, if you win a race, you will get into the playoffs. You will have a chance to run at a championship. You will financially, um, you know, benefit from that, from whatever action that is. I mean, what, what can you say? Like these guys are competitors. They're going to do that for their teams, for their families, for their livelihoods, like all of that stuff. It falls on NASCAR. You have to figure out a way where you cannot incentivize somebody to do that. Because if that rule is there where, hey, if I win, I'm in the playoffs and I'm going to financially benefit from this and everybody around me is going to as well. Uh, there's no reason to not do that other than is it ethical, which I mean, right? Like that's where people are going to disagree. He would probably say it is ethical because everybody around me just benefited. And I know the hard work that those men and women put in each and every day and week and month and year. And they, I, I you know, I, um, they deserve a win. They deserve a win. And I'm part responsible for getting them that win. So to me, um, that's where all of this falls on NASCAR. Um, you know, again, the, the move, I don't really agree with the way he won. Um, but he had to do what he had to do in his mind, in his mind. Would I do that? I'm not really sure. I don't drive a race car, but in his mind, that's what he had to do. Um, and until you change the rule, that's going to continue to happen. Quite frankly, fair and square that that's, you got to change the rule and then you won't have that. Um, so we'll see what kind of penalties come from that. Um, but that's my take. And um, I wanted to do a full video, but I feel like it got a little stale. Maybe I'll do one when the penalty comes out and I'll react to that. Um, but I just, I, I didn't really have time, um, but I did want to briefly give my opinions and thoughts prior to uh, our bets this week for Michigan. So with that real quick, let's do the um, NASCAR betting preview show plug. We'll start with the live show. The NASCAR betting preview show live show goes live on X Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give that a watch. Um, it's got plenty of great betting content creators uh, like myself giving you great picks for uh, the weekend that is Michigan. Uh, and then, of course, for the podcasts uh, on the NASCAR betting preview show podcast feed and podcast channel like the one you might be listening to if you're hearing my voice right now. Um, hit that follow button and uh, get plenty of other great motorsports betting content on a weekly basis to talk about the week that is. So there it is, NASCAR betting preview show. Appreciate the partnership as always. On to Michigan. Got a pretty good solid card um, for Michigan this weekend. I guess I'm going to start with uh, my top 10s. I want to start there first. So the first guy I am going to mention is Eric Jones um, for a top 10. If you just saw today, he got a new deal announced with Legacy Motor Club. Um, and you look at the stats, right? This is a great track for Eric Jones. I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but um, it's just one that he excels at. He's had back-to-back -back ten uh, top 10s at this track in the next gen era. Um, even in, in his days back with Joe Gibbs Racing, he was great here as well. Had a couple top fives, so... Um, I love a top 10 for Eric Jones. I feel like he's got some confidence now with that, with the deal. It's a multi-year deal, little weight lifted off his shoulders. He goes in, he's had success at this track. I think he's at, he's going to have a big day. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised for a, a, a top five as well. I might be looking to, uh, to put that on the card. And then another guy I'm going to go with is, uh, Daniel Suarez for a top 10. Suarez has been on a heater recently, including a great race. Um, at Richmond last week uh, where he led a lot of laps and finished top 10 great strategy call, but that car had speed that team track house had speed um, last four results though, right? For Daniel Suarez, 11th, 16th, 8th, 10th. So he is on a heater. He's got back to back top tens finished sixth last year um, at Michigan had a top five at Michigan uh, all the way back in his days with, uh, with Stuart Haas racing. So 
he run and um actually two top fives rather uh in his days with Stuart Haas. Um so he has great success on this track. I think when you're off in riding great momentum like Suarez um, is now, you love to go on a track that you feel confident at, and uh, that is Michigan for Daniel Suarez. So Suarez and Eric Jones are my two top 10 bets so far. Again, Johnny on the track on Action Network at J-O-T-T underscore podcast on X Twitter um, for you know my full card. I want to get you the most up-to-date lines for those drivers. Suarez plus 165 uh, for a top 10 and Eric Jones plus 360. Love, love, love the value for Eric Jones plus 360. Um, so two top 10 bets right there. I'm going to go to RFK for a winning team bet. Um, I'm trying to find, um, it's tough because DraftKings doesn't always put these, but maybe you could put Ford instead. Ford dominated this track, have won the last nine here. A lot of those have to do with uh, Kevin Harvick, but Chris uh, Chris Busher is the defending champ. Uh, but RFK, um, to me, this is Chris Busher's best shot. I like him for an outright. I like RFK for the team bet. I also like Ford winning manufacturer. I like all three of those. So do what you want with that. Um, he's the defending race winner. Both he and Brad were really, really good at this track last year. Um, and the biggest comp track to Michigan is Kansas, where if you remember, Busher had a great car and lost in the closest NASCAR finish in history um, to Kyle Larson. So he and Brad are going to be fast. They're going to bring fast cars. Trust me on that. Um, and I feel like either one of those guys is going to have a good shot to win this race. I'm going to lean towards the outright for Chris Busher. Um, as well as place that winning team bet, like I said. Another outright I've got for you is the 23 of Bubba Wallace, who has been red hot. He's 20 to 1 entering here at Michigan. He usually brings uh, brings a good piece to this track. He um he had well, yeah, obviously he had a great car last year, great car two years ago. Um, just didn't get the result he deserved last year, but he had a very, very fast car, ended up finishing 18th. Um, but like I said, two years ago, led a lot of laps, was the runner up to Kevin Harvick. If that race goes a little differently, um, he probably wins uh, that that race. So Bubba Wallace, with the run he is on with that team, the only thing that concerns, uh, concerns me a little bit is he might be points racing. But I still think he's going to have like a top seven-esque car. Um, so I feel like he can points race and he can try to win and it really won't affect that team. So Bubba Wallace outright 20 to one Ross Chastain 28 to one another great bet for me he had a great car uh, here last year qualified well um but kind of has been hit or miss on the on the high speeds this year um but to me Michigan is, is definitely a different animal it's a larger track a wider track it favors kind of these cr more creative and aggressive drivers so I think Ross Chastain um is one of those guys that Michigan plays to his strengths, the way he race, uh, races, quite frankly. And um, yeah, I, I think Ross Chastain is in need of something, whether it be a win. I personally feel like we are going to get a new winner this weekend. I don't know why, but that's my feeling. I like RFK with Chris Buescher, Bubba Wallace, Ross Chastain. Um, even I honestly, like I think Eric Jones could come out and shock the world. I really, I really think that Truex obviously is another guy um, that uh, Busher lost to last year. I think Truex is going to have a good piece. So a lot of the guys that are right on that cusp line that have not won yet are very, very good race car drivers when it comes to Michigan. But Ross Chastain, I feel like is going to have a great car. Um, and have a good day. I might prop him too, maybe uh, like a top five for Ross. Let's uh, he's plus 105 for a top 10. So I think there's great value there, plus money to get Ross at for a top 10. Last guy, don't know why I feel this way. And it's probably the wrong way to feel, um, but Kyle effing Bush. I was about to say, I was about to say it. Kyle effing Bush. I don't know why I'm feeling Kyle effing Bush, but I think with, what we just saw with RCR win that race, I think that fired him back up. I think that put a flame, ignited a flame, and gave everybody at RCR confidence that we can still do this. We can still bring good, fast race cars. In Kansas, like I said, most comparable track to Michigan, was one of his best finishes and races of the year uh, this year. So Kyle Busch to win 20 
eight to one. I think that number might dip. I think that number might go to like 30 to 35 to one. Um, but Kyle Bush, be careful. Be careful now because I think you just woke up a beast. Um, this is the way I felt the very um, beginning of last season. And of course, Kyle Bush lights off three wins pretty early on in that season. Uh, I think this is the turning point. I, I don't know how, but I feel like Kyle Bush is going to find a way to win one of these last three races, whether it be Michigan, Darlington, or Daytona. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at. Again, it's a big card right now. Um, still maybe something on Truex. I'm not really sure yet. Um, he was like, I think at one point, like 10 to 1, 12 to 1. But now I see him down to 8 to 1. So he's obviously been uh, bet down. Ben bet down. That's tough to say. Say that fast three times. Um, but he's another guy that I might target because I feel like, again, he might come back with uh, some revenge on his mind of how he lost that race to Chris Buescher here last year. But uh, Eric Jones and Suarez, top 10. Kyle F. and Bush, Ross Chastain, Bubba Wallace. Chris Busher, the outrights and winning team on RFK. I also like Ford to win because um, I feel, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good about the fact that Ford has won this track nine straight races. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. As always, give this video a like. Goes a long way for the channel. Subscribe for more motorsports betting content. And of course, want to know what you guys think. Put your thoughts in the comment section below on who you will be betting with that. As I always say, let's win some money.